Good morning, Randy. Um, we played the U.S. Uh, women's team yesterday, and um, we lost by four goals to me. Uh, what are your reactions as regards the match? Well, you know, anytime you play the best in the world, you know that you're going to have challenges, and certainly they created a lot of challenges for us. Um, but I think everything, you know, for our plan moving forward, everything we do uh, is in preparation for the World Cup. So I, I think we're, we look less at um, results, but more on performance and how we play. And one of the things I was pleased with was the performance of some of our young players. Uh, we brought some of the U-20s in and were able to get their first cap. And I thought they all did extremely well for us considering – it was the first senior team called up and uh, and playing the best in the world. So uh, we'll hope that we can improve on the performance a little bit on Tuesday. Uh, but the main thing is it's given us a chance to see some young players that we normally wouldn't get to see. Um, uh, specifically, a player like him with Piaz, you know, we, we had the opportunity. He was with us um, during our qualifiers against them, the Ivory Coast. Right. And then you saw her then. Is there anything different from what you saw there and now? Well, no, I think she's always been a good player and a good up-and-coming young star, just like all of those that we've called in have been, not only her, but with, with uh, uh, Tosin and, and even Deborah and, and uh, Esther. I think they're all really good players. Um, I think the, the difference is when we had them in the qualifiers, we hadn't had a chance to see them with our team and playing against senior level competition. And, um, you know, the game with the Ivory Coast, for example, was you, you win or you're, you're out of the World Cup. So you've got to be careful about bringing those young players on too soon. Uh, but now that we've qualified and we've got a year to prepare for um, the World Cup next summer, uh, it gives us time to see them in games. And, and she did great. You know, she she not only held her own, but she played really well against the U.S. yesterday. So uh, she's going to be one that's got a bright future with us for sure. So our next game, uh, second game against um, the same team, um, what should we look out for? Well, we're going to look at some other players. You know, we still didn't get uh, Oni Echigini in. We didn't get Esther into the game. Uh, you know, we need to see those players as well. And obviously, we'll continue to study the video from the first match and try to clean up some things defensively. You know, the hard part is you're playing against a team that's not only the best in the world, but they're in the peak of their physical condition. You know, they're all in the league here in the U.S., which is getting ready for playoffs. So physically, they're in a better place than us. Uh, and the U.S. is together all the time. And, you know, unfortunately, we don't get our players together since they're scattered all over the world uh, playing. We don't get them together like the U.S. is able to do. So uh, we know they're going to be another, you know, a, a challenge and it'll be another difficult match on Tuesday. But as I said, the experience that we gain from it, if this is where we want to be as a country to be one of the top teams in the world, we have to play these kind of teams and we have to get exposed. So we learn from it. Finally, uh, are you optimistic? At um, the Falcons, we're going to do much, much better when we get to the World Cup because Nigerians were not particularly pleased um, with our performance in America. Yeah. No, I, I think clearly we'll be better. You know, the Morocco was the first time we really had all of the players that I asked for in camp um, since we've been here in a year. So it takes time to be good. If you look at the things Morocco is doing and you look at the things that South Africa are doing, their teams are together on a regular basis and we've got to, we've got to be able to get all of our players in on a more regular basis. So this year, I think thankfully the president has supported us with, um, you know, giving us these kind of opportunities to be together. Um, and so we'll, we'll, we'll definitely be much better at the world cup than we were in, in Morocco. All right. Thank you.